We're the manufacturing team um, on a project with a company called Aerogistic. So we have two parts of the project where we're working with electrical engineering team and industrial engineering teams. Um, and so the first one is a diagnostic launch land stand or landing pad for a drone. So this is a situation where you know, a drone's gonna land autonomously onto a landing pad that might be in a remote location or something like this um, and needs to have sensor readings done to make sure that it's good to fly next time. The second part of the project is a drone recovery rover. So this company has what's called a drone dome in Dripping Springs, and this is where people can do test flights with their racer drones or do races and things like this. So when a racer drone may crash, instead of having a person go and grab it, um, it's gonna be an autonomous rover, which can identify it with a vision system and then bring it back. It's been a lot of fun to um, just learn about the different manufacturing processes. Um, so you learn about a lot of different kinds of things. You have 3D printing, you have you know, water jet cutting, laser cutters, things like this, um, machining, and you learn conceptually a lot in your classes. And we've had some labs where we've done hands-on, but then when you get into senior design, it's just, you know, you, you really get hands-on, right? So you learn all the intricacies of what could happen wrong and then how to fix it, right? Like knowing how to fix and troubleshoot um, within the manufacturing process. I'm the team leader for the manufacturing team, and it's been really great just learning more about how to lead a team, but then also seeing my team members um, grow within their roles and within their skills and abilities throughout this past year. The biggest thing I love is being in the lab. You know, being hands-on is my favorite part of the project and a part of my job. You know, I enjoy 3D modeling and brainstorming and, you know, all these kinds of things and some of the the, the work of you know, presenting, but I really enjoy just heads down in the lab trying to figure out a problem. That's my favorite part. As an undergrad, I had a lot of opportunities to do research. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done on these projects. These professors are doing really incredible work here in the department, and so you know, they need people to help them out. You know, there's graduate students working on research, and, and they need help from the undergraduate students as well. When I was younger, I always liked math and science little bit of a math nerd um, and just in general I'm a kind of person where I like to figure out how things work you know I'm always just very curious on how the world works um, and understanding you know technically what's going on and so I had a friend who uh, actually was in the manufacturing engineering program here at Texas State and so when he would describe you know his classes things like that I was really interested and you know it, it was exciting for me so I decided to come here and pursue manufacturing engineering and as I progressed through the classes I just enjoyed it more and more um, and so I had it's it's very fun I, I enjoy it a lot. So I hope that I am an inspiration um, that you can be an engineer no matter what you know I have a kid I I've been going through this with um, a young child and just to say you know hey I did it right and I can have this really great job and enjoy what I do and to look at you know young women from kindergarten through high school through college and say you can do this too absolutely